The start of June marks the beginning of Pride Month across North America and other parts of the world. It's a season intended to celebrate the lives and experiences of LG LGBTQ plus communities and to protest against attacks on hard-won civil rights gains. Hi, gay. <laughs> June the 1st means we are officially in the throes of Pride Month. These gays, they're trying to murder me. June has been an important month for the LGBTQ plus rights movement since New York City's first Pride March, then dubbed the Christopher Street Gay Liberation Day March on June 28, 1970. I think it's great. I think it's really dynamite. And I think the only way to achieve it is through force and marches like this. That event marked an act of defiance from the year before, a 1969 uprising at New York City's Stonewall Inn, after a police raid at the gay bar, a crowd partly led by trans women of color confronted authorities. It was a catalyst to what became a global movement for gay rights. These days, pride celebrations and events can be found all over the world. Many cities typically hold their main marches on the last weekend of June, drawing major crowds in places including New York, Sao Paulo, Tel Aviv, Madrid, and Toronto. <laughs> this year's Pride Month takes place in a contentious political climate, specifically in the United States. Some state legislators have sought to ban drag shows, prohibit gender-affirming care, and limit how teachers can talk about sexuality and gender in the classroom. Right now in Tennessee, I can get a gun and carry it around in public, but I can't put on a fucking wig. On my second offense of doing drag in Tennessee, I could become a felon, a felon. And as a white, rich drag queen, that scares me. How do you think that people of color and trans women and trans women who are people of color who do drag feel? There have also been concerns about the commercialism and corporate presence that surround the month of June, overshadowing real issues in the LGBTQ plus community that are still unresolved. Hi, gay. Happy Pride Month. We are sashaying away with deals. Retailers like Target have sold LGBTQ-related goods tied to Pride Month for years. But last week, the big box chain removed many of its products, citing an increase in confrontations between customers and employees and incidents of Pride merchandise being thrown on the floor. I think that it's a very dangerous precedent to set that if people just get riled up enough about the products that you're selling, that you can completely distance yourself from the LGBT community when and if it's convenient. It's completely fine to profit off of us, to stick with the rainbow capitalism and to focus on the pink dollar. But the second it gets hard, if you're gonna jump ship, that's a very dangerous thing. It's not all bad. LGBTQ plus visibility is at an all time high in 2023. In just the last month, Taiwan passed a bill granting full adoption rights to same sex couples. Cyprus criminalized conversion therapy, and the Cook Islands officially decriminalized homosexuality. Don't be a drag, just be a queen. Don't be a drag, just be a queen.